Well, today it's my absolute privilege to be sitting in this beautiful garden here at Melbourne University with Professor Geoffrey Donnan. Geoffrey, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nick. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, now first up, can you just tell us what your area of expertise is? Well, I'm a neurologist over at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and I've been researching stroke for most of my career. So stroke is really your prime interest, isn't it? My prime interest is stroke. Now, let's talk about the ASPRI study. Tell me what that was all about. Well, we have aspirin almost everywhere in society and we, the, the big question is, should we take aspirin to prevent people who are normally healthy over the age of 70 having heart attacks and strokes? And that was the purpose of the whole study. So this was a huge study, wasn't mm. it? It was 19,000 people and it was aspirin versus placebo to see if it helped. That's right. We, what we wanted to know was look at the risk benefit because we, we know that there's a potential benefit, but we also knew, know there was a potential risk, which was going to win. And in a nutshell, what did we find? Well, the risk really outweighed the benefit. OK. So aspirin wasn't, mm. wasn't good for preventing stroke? It wasn't good for preventing stroke. So, Geoffrey, if we've shown that aspirin wasn't doing people any good in this study, was it actually doing them any harm? Unfortunately, it was. Uh, the bleeding was uh, unfortunately in the brain, in the various compartments, uh, and also the gut. Uh, the combination of those two things made it not a good thing to do. So if you're uh, over the age of 70, uh, you're otherwise healthy, there's no real evidence you should take aspirin. And In that's fact, a really important point, isn't it? Because really there are older point. people taking aspirin because yes, they yes. thought it was a good idea. So yes. probably for those people, they should pop down to their doctor and just check and maybe think and about risky. that. So can you tell me who should be taking low-dose aspirin yeah. these days? Well, I think there's not a shadow of doubt for those people still who have a minor stroke, a transient ischemic attack, uh, a heart attack. These are the people where given aspirin uh, almost straight away is enormously beneficial. So people with previous ischemic stroke, transient ischemic attack, people with serious heart conditions, mm -hmm. stents, that sort of thing, yes. should they, be on they, aspirin. They should take aspirin very early on and they should continue to take it ad infinitum. So if you're a healthy person and you're 70 or older, you don't want to get a stroke, taking aspirin doesn't get work, so what should people do to reduce their risk of stroke? Very good question. So you should really address the things that are likely to cause stroke. And number one is you're getting older, you can't do much about that. Number two is if you develop high blood pressure. You, if you control your high blood pressure incredibly well, massively reduces the chance of you having a stroke. Mm -hmm. If you're a smoker, of course, don't do it again, reduce the chance enormously. If you're diabetic, uh, if you control that incredibly well, uh, you reduce the risk. And the, the last one, and probably even one of the most important one, is so-called atrial fibrillation, which is an irregular pulse. So if you happen to be sitting there and you feel your pulse and say, gee, that's jumping around a bit, go to your doctor. Yeah, because really, really important point. Really it, important because, point. Because something mm. over 10% of older adults will get exactly. atrial fibrillation at some point and it's a huge risk and of that, stroke. that increases five times the risk of you having a stroke. So, And it's so easy to fix. You can reduce with medications the chance of you developing a stroke if you've got that irregular pulse by up to about 60, 80%. Now, tell me in that case, if we're not going to take aspirin, what do you see as the future in stroke prevention? Is there anything fantastic coming along? I think it's going to be all about identifying risk and then controlling risks. There might still be risks uh, that are controllable we haven't fully discovered. And there are others like stress and uh, lifestyle changes that we, we know you need to control a lot better. So focusing on those sorts of things are going to be, I think, the way of the future, rather than some magic bullet that uh, lazily we just take and it takes away the risk. It's, it's, it's the, the message again and again, it's just such common sense, is if you lead a he healthy lifestyle, the likelihood of you becoming ill is so much lessened. That's such a good piece mm. of advice. Mm. Professor Geoffrey Donald, thank you so much for coming on the show. Nick, thank you for having me.